Hi guys, my name is Laken Hall and I'm going to be trying to teach you how to draw Pepito from Pepito's Whiskers. So you're going to need a pencil and if you want a pen just so you can see your detail when we go over it at the end or you can just draw harder with your pencil. So first we're going to go in with the pencil and we're just going to try to find the basic shapes that make up Pepito so that later we can go over them starting with a circle. And then right underneath that, we're going to draw another circle about the same size. Alright, so this first circle is going to be Pepito's head. And the circle underneath, you want to turn that circle, the bottom body circle, into an oval shape. So it kind of looks like an egg on its side. Once you have those shapes down, we're going to add another circle right underneath where the top of the sideways egg is. That's going to be Pepito's leg and show us where his little butt is. So I'm just going to start connecting the lines to get Pepito's back in. And then in the front here, just define that line a little bit more. Now we're going to go in and make sure the circle looks like his leg by adding a darker line. And right at the bottom of where his leg is, we're going to add just a little ovular shape for his foot. Almost at the same height as his leg. We're going to start a line coming down for his frontmost arm and you can make it just a little rectangle and then right at the bottom of your rectangle you can add a little half circle for his paw and then do the same thing for the paw behind but don't have it overlap the circle. And because it's his leg farthest from us it's going to stop a little bit before the paw in the front. That way we know that this paw is his back paw. And now it's time to put in Pepito's tail. So his tail is going to start about halfway up his circle that we made for his leg. And you can make it as fluffy as you want or as skinny as you want, curving around and overlapping his front foot just a little bit. And I'm sure you guys have all been wondering about his head, so now we're going to do his head detail. So I'm going to add a little line down the center of the circle. Our line down the center is a little bit curved in that direction just to indicate that he's looking over there. And then we'll put another line crossing that one. So now, right in the center of your cross, you're going to put his nose. And you can start out with a little triangle. And then if you look at Pepito, he's got a kind of bubble-shaped T for his nose. So now we're going to add Pepito's ears. And you just do a big triangle, and you can spread his ears out far or have them closer. It doesn't really matter. His ears move in different directions to hear different things. So when you're making your triangle, notice that I'm doing a straight line to figure out how tall I want his ear to be. And the second line for the triangle, I just kind of curve back down so it looks a little more organic. All right, so now if you notice, Pepito's face has fluff on the sides and on his chin. I'm just gonna make a little triangle coming off of his chin. And then right around the sides where we had our cross line, I'm gonna go in and make another tiny triangle there. And that way we know where his floofs are going to be when we fill them in. So for Pepito's eyes, so we're doing kind of ovular circles. And then another smaller one on the inside. And for his little whisker area, we're going to do the same oval shape but much bigger. And have it actually connect to the nose. And then to add where the whiskers are going to be, We'll do three dots on each of those little ovals, and you can have the, the dots be in any order you want. They don't have to be a perfect triangle, because cats have whiskers everywhere. They don't have just three, so you can add more than three dots, or have them closer together. For his whiskers on the top of his head, we're just going to put a little line to mark where they are. They kind of look like eyebrows right now. And then on the ear, I'm just going to add a little overlap so that it, his ears look a little more 3D. And then for his chest, he's got 
a little floofy patch of white on his chest. It's kind of another little oval inside of that chest circle that we made at the beginning. All right, and now we're gonna take our marker and define the lines that we want for him and add a little bit of detail. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna make that circle line at the top of his head. And I'm gonna continue it over his back ear. And then when you get to these triangle parts, you can add little spikes to show that he's fluffy. All right, and then I'm just gonna add his ears in, trace over the little triangle we gave him. And now for his nose, I'm gonna trace that bubble letter T that we made. And then I'm gonna mark where those top whiskers are that look like little eyebrows. And now for the eyes and the mouth, Instead of tracing entirely around, I'm gonna leave a little bit of gaps in between. You don't fill in the middle part because he's blind, so he actually doesn't have an eye in his socket. He sees with his whiskers, and we'll add those in last because those are his special feature. So now moving on to his snout, I'm gonna do a line coming out of the T bubble letter. And then on the bottom, I'm going to give him a little teddy bear looking mouth. It's like a J and a backwards J. And then you can dot where you put your dots before for his whiskers. Now we're going to add some fluff to his body so he looks like he has fur. So I'm going to start here and give him some fur right on the top of his chest where he's got that white patch. And then I'm going to do the same to show where that little white fluffy patch stops on the other side. And now I'm gonna put the legs in and just trace over our rectangle that we made, but I'm gonna stop at the half circle for this line and I'm gonna stop where the tail overlaps for this one. And then for the paws, I'm just gonna trace that half circle and I'm gonna leave a little bit open here so that it shows that it's still connected to the leg. And then you can add little lines to show where his claws would be and where he's got some toes in there. So I add two little lines on each of his paws. And then we're gonna move on to his back leg and this little back line. So I'm gonna go and do the back line first and doing the same for his leg down here tracing over that circle that we made before. And then for his leg, I'm tracing over that oval shape and I'm stopping it where the tail's gonna overlap too. And then we can add two little claw marks. Now he does have four legs, so we have to add one more little leg to show that he has all four of them. So trace the lines that I made for this leg, but a little bit behind. Perfect, and then we're gonna add a little bit more floof to the tail, and he'll be all set to receive his whiskers. So I'm gonna start our tail back here, and I want the most of my fluff to be on the top of his tail, but you can add more fluff around the bottom if you want. But last but not least, we're gonna add his whiskers. So right on the top of his head, and right on his little snout, He's got a bunch of whiskers and they're very long so that he can feel the different things beside him and use his whiskers to see instead of his eyes. So right where we marked his little eyebrows, we're just gonna go in and I'm gonna give him two whiskers. And then for his snout, coming off. And make sure you vary the size of the lines. And you guys can add a couple little floofs if you wanna make them more fluffy. But that's it. That's how you draw Pepito from Pepito's Whiskers.